Hello everyone. Okay, so I thought I'd make a quick video just to demonstrate something. If you, if you like me and you get all sorts of spam come through your email, it can be frustrating. I'm looking at one now that tells me that my PayPal account has been limited. Now, I know this isn't correct. This is not the correct status of my PayPal account. But, you know, you, you can ask yourself, now I don't let the, the rest of the information through. Um, like Thunderbird has blocked remote contact to this message. I use Thunderbird, it's a great email client, you can put lots of different email um, addresses, systems in there, and, um, and it, it's, just a, it's just a great way of, of keeping your, your, your emails in some sort of order, especially if you've got different email accounts for different things. Now, getting back to this, so it says my PayPal account has been limited, um, one, it doesn't put my name here. Normally from these sort of places that at least put your name, um, part maybe, uh, your uh, email address or some sort of some sort of identification that you can see. And as I look down here, there's nothing. And I'm gonna let in the remote access now, just to show you the difference. Okay, so it looks you know like it's from paypal okay but anybody can just nick these graphics and put them into an email the way you're going to find out is you can go and look at the links and then look down at the bottom bar especially if you're using an email client like this check this bottom bar out that i'm, I'm looking at so i'll go over the link there and you can see it says w.paypal.com so we know that link goes to paypal and to an address in that domain but if we go log into PayPal, now look at the link down there now. That's a completely different email, that's a completely different domain name. That is not PayPal. And so you're going to be going through to something that's going to look like PayPal probably. And you think you've gone through to PayPal. Here's another one. This is a, re a reminder from this previous uh, you know th this email here I've not answered it of course and there's another way you look at, uh, look at the top as well this is from customer dot in a shop PayPal I mean anybody can put this in when you're setting up an email and uh, you can actually put where it's come from so there's all this jibber jabber in here and then when you look at where it's gone to to you've got all these different email addresses all of them and the only thing that's correct about my email address in this and there's 80 more of them here, is that mine ends in hotmail.com. You know, I've had this, uh, <laughs> this email address for decades, and it ends in hotmail.com. So now we're just going to take a peek at the other one. So this one says up here that it's live at microsoft.com. That's where it's going to. Uh, where it comes from, they didn't even bother. They just put in the name PayPal and put this, uh, I, I don't know how you say it, yeah, bank at a, yeah. Well, look, it, it's not from PayPal, and that's all we really need to know. Again, there's nothing that's personal towards me. It doesn't put my name. It doesn't put part my uh, like the last four of my um, card number. It doesn't give anything identifying. All it tries to make you believe is PayPal. And again, if we go over to confirm the account, I look down the bottom here again when I go over that, you'll see that is not going to a PayPal address. And you can do this on practically any email that you get that you think is suspicious. Or well, it doesn't really matter. I mean, just go over the link, hover over the link, and see what the address is down the bottom of the, um, of the page. And it will generally tell you what the address is that it will be going to. And it's a very quick way of you getting past, is this real? Is this not real? You know, if, you, if for some reason you're not taking into account, there's no personal identification in there. There's nothing that actually says it's specifically for you. Uh, <clears throat> and, then, you know, these, these guys do this sort of thing all the time. So, But it's a quick way of just figuring it out. Okay, I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Stay well.